Hey guys, welcome back to Disrespect Disc Golf. This is Disc Golf Survival. disc golf setup ever. He's got his discs and the thing with the umbrella. Oh, it's genius. All right, here we are for round two. I'm going to start on the back nine now. It's a little bit more open. Uh, I think some of the holes are a little bit longer and less trees. And for bag updates, I'm going to take out the Waymaker. And instead of that, I'm going to swap in the Enoch. So I think it's like eight, five, negative 0.52, so kind of like a straight to slightly understable eight speed, a little bit more distance for some of these longer shots. Good, I'm gonna swap out my other judge for this judge. It's a little bit stickier, a little bit tackier, and a little bit straighter. So we'll see if it works for me. All right, call us in the air and you get to choose who tees off first. Heads. Uh, I'll tee off first. All right. Gonna go with my MD1. Alright, I think this is a 330 position. I'm gonna go with Peach. Same idea, flippy mid range, if I can get it close. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Go in the basket. Good shot, Cam. Oh, it's a little bit deeper. discs, five lives, five holes. <laughs> yes, he can. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I thought I heard you whispering to the camera. Oh, I was. <laughs> oh, I almost maybe missed it. <clears throat> Okie dokie, got my birdie. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take away the mid range for mm. this MD1. I'm gonna seal this. And uh, hole 11 is the longest hole on the course 364 feet. Way straight ahead and a little bit left. And then go with my Enoch here. Maybe a touch of hyzer, rip into it, let it pop up and then fade back. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. Maybe like uh, 40, 45 feet. Why am I on this channel? That dude's way better than me. This is crazy. Good shot. All right, praise God, praise God. You just said you're never guaranteed any of these putts. <laughs> on these baskets so you know just start speaking in tongues you know what i'm saying start that pentecostal holy fire to spit out <laughs> this is your number one weapon right now all 12 par 3 259 right up there and go cookie forehand That's pretty nice. That's it. Good shot. That's probably fine. Yep. All right, for the birdie look. Can 
can he sink it? Steal a disc. Whoa! Great put. Okay, okay. Wow. First time I'm stealing a disc from Cam. That that was big. That was big. You know, it was like uh, Calvin getting that first win, then he got that second win. Time for your boy. <laughs> Uh, this is to swap disc. Bah! That's right, baby. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is what I told you. This is what I told you. This is like, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, big mustache boy. What's what's uh, Gavin? Gavin. Uh, no. Rathbun. Gavin Rathbun. Choking to Calvin. This is this is it. This is it. <laughs> He gets to steal this now, and then we'll be back to five five each. Five right. five. Okay, so now the question is, does he want to get his disc back? No. Or <laughs> sabotage me? Um, all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, he wants to take the whole stack. I'm gonna take it. The uh, the putting part of the putting putter. The just, justice? Genesis. 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 Right, but yeah. justice was served for you mm. anyways. Yeah, yeah, this is the beginning of my end. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> wow, all right. The shot's fired. Off to hole 13, all tied up. Okay, this is hole 13, par 3. It's 296. You got this row of trees right straight from the uh, tee pad. So you can go big forehand to the left, which I doubt either of us are going to do, or big um, hyzer with the uh, backhand. So I'm going to go instinct, backhand hyzer. No! Oh, I just flipped. Bummer. You don't have to use your putter if you park it, and that's the plan here. Cookie. Oh, that's good. Missed that. Yeah. Oh, it's short. For a long time. Oh, no, I think it's 20, 25. Yeah. All right, ended up being about 10, 12 feet there. Here's Buck. Maybe circle's edge. Maybe 35. For the birdie. Gets it. Is that Calvin Heimbird I see? Come on, come on. Wow. Calvin Heimbird. That's what I said too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My putter got stolen, so I'm going to go with the uh, pillar here. Stable. Oh, now it's a guarantee. Nice. <laughs> Left side. Take it. Good stuff. All right, so Cam is walking away. He has plugged his ears and he has turned his body around. I'm gonna pick, we're doing this. Well, we'll explain. Um, I'm gonna pick the cookie and I'm gonna put it back in his bag so that he doesn't know. We're doing this so we don't like swap the same disc or just like grab whichever one, you know? Okay, so we got Malta, Razor Claw, my putter, Judge, and the Instinct. I feel like I could putt with this decently well, so I'm gonna go with the Judge. Nice. Take that. All right. Um, for the reveal. I took the cookie. Okay. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, cookie for a judge. Full 14, part 3, 141 feet. So, you guys can actually probably see this one, which is, you know, a miracle. You probably haven't been able to see a lot of them, but it's because it's so short. Just right there. Going to go with the razor claw. Simple up shot. So, just uh, don't choke on any, uh, any nuggets. That's fine. I'll have to make a little bit of a putt, but like 10 feet. Same idea, forehand pillar. Yep. Thank you. Great. Tap in. Tap in birdie. At this point in the video, what becomes really interesting as we both keep birdieing is do we want to steal our own disc back so we're comfortable with it? Or because if we sabotage too much and just keep taking the other person's discs, we're gonna have to throw more of the other person's discs the more we steal. So it becomes a balance of like, okay, would you rather just have your own disc back so you can score well, or do you wanna just keep sabotaging and hope to do well with the other person's discs? Wait, what are you putting with over there? Oh, putting with the Genesis. 
In the beginning, God made this disc. In the beginning. Cam, not me. <laughs> Ooh. Another push. Nice. Potato. <laughs> you got that? Alright, so my turn to steal a disc here. I can take my putting putter back. Or my cookie back. I think I'm gonna sabotage them a little bit though. I'm gonna take the Malta and uh, see if this hurts him. I don't know, he's been throwing this a lot. Uh, it's really stable, so I'm gonna take the Malta from him. Okay, I'm a predictable guy and I would do the whole like switcheroo wrong. You thought I was gonna do that. Of course I'm not gonna do that. I gotta play the mind games, but no. I gotta have my judge back, man. I gotta, I gotta take it back, all right? <laughs> it's my baby. What'd you feel? What'd you take? Well, what do you think you're losing? Um, you got two of my discs in here. The cookie and the... Yeah, I would guess I'm losing the razor claw. You would guess the razor claw? Yeah. Guess again. Uh, the Genesis? The Malta. The Malta! Nice. That's a good one. Alright, so update on our bags. I've got the Malta, the Peach, MD1, Enoch, and Pillar. And apparently he's very confident on his putting with the, uh, black bad boy so and i'm not because i have two uh so i have the razor claw instinct and cookie still his two my three all right hole 15 165 so <laughs> pushing it back 20 feet um yeah just right there on the right fairly open you got two sort of guardian trees here in the fairly close to the t but i think it'll be fine until i knock on wood i guess Easy. All right, pillar. See if I can uh, maybe ace it. That'd be cool. Oh, that's short no. Yeah, okay, really not as really close fun. as I like there. I'm parked, and he's got maybe a 20 footer with an overstable. Oh, the spit out, baby. This is electric. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna do it. That was a solid putt. That's that's a that's a straight up rob. I got disrespected. <laughs> right there. Wow, it's a good old plug. Disrespectful. For such a time as this, good men were created. Take the dub. Boom. Okay. Pulling ahead. Six discs for Buck now. It'll be four for me. Stay tuned to find out what I'm losing. <laughs> okay, so we got the Malta. MD1, Peach, Pillar, yeah. and Apparently you have Enoch. no mids. You have three mids, an Approach, and the Enoch. You know, this course has been fairly short so far, so I feel like, I haven't been here before. I have no idea what we're about to get into. I'm gonna take away his Pillar. No. It's what he's been on. It's what he's been on. I gotta get the win. We gotta film three videos today, okay? So uh, yeah, taking the pillar. All right, hole 16, par three. It is 280 feet, but it looks a bit longer, but maybe that's because we've been playing extremely short holes. I, man, I really wish I had gone with the Malta there or an MD1, really any of the mids that he has on his bag, but I'm gonna go with the Instinct forehand. Uh, I think I'm gonna go try with the big forehand hyzer on the right side, left side there. Try and see. It's a fairly, I don't know, fairly generous corridor, just kind of dead straight and tucked in just on the left side there. There is a little bit of a forehand guide, uh, forehand, forehand route all the way to the left there. I'm going to try and see if I can't do that. That's very short. Good, good shape though. All right, each up the gut. Flip a little bit more. That's a putt, but I don't have any base plastic. <laughs> so I've got the Peach, Enoch Malta, and MD1 to putt with. So it might be like MD1, we'll see. All right, Judd, we're right next to each other. So it's a little bit of a putt off. Oh, a little 
little bit left. A little bit left on it. Yeah. All right, MD1. I thought it was in, I really did. Easy. Okay, now we're gonna add a new wrinkle into the video. We just finished hole 16, so we got 17 to 18 left. If we're still tied after that, we're gonna go to um, hole one, which is gonna start the more wooded holes again. Um, and so the wrinkle is gonna be that if we're still tied once we go back to hole one, then every hole uh, will flip a disc, heads will be play as normal, um, nothing happens differently, tails will be double or nothing. So tails will be bogey, you forfeit two discs, and birdie, you gain two discs. So that'll kind of help speed the process up um, because we're still just, Buck's got six and I've got four still. So double or nothing starting on Hole one, hole 50 50 chance for double or nothing. So that could get interesting. We're back to the small hole, it's only 125 feet. Uh, it's just right there on the right. You have a tad bit of trouble, I guess, with three trees sort of blocking it. Um, yeah, I don't know. You could just go with a putt, it's like a long putt or a forehand chipper. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna make sure I get there. So yeah, razor claw, forehand chip. It's been working for me today. Long, but that's fine. Alright, first time ever throwing a Malta. Get down. Go in. Oh, wow, you really almost had it. I, yeah, I was gonna call an ace run at the beginning. I was like, I don't wanna call that, but it was an ace run. Putting with the peach. Ooh. Looks like he's still up. <laughs> oh. Putting with the peach, more like sitting on his peach too much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not getting those uh, those reps out. <laughs> oh, sounds like he's giving one away. Oh, oh, we didn't actually need to do that intro a little bit ago, because I'm gonna get two right now anyways. <laughs> I mean, Went from almost ace to uh, bogey. Almost losing. Right, pretty bogey. Okay, Enoch, MD1, Malta, and Peach. Yeah, um, man, I really like the Malta. I was throwing it a bunch on the first video, so I'm gonna pick it. I'm just gonna stick to my discs. So, nice. Enoch and Peach, it is. That's all that's left. Two lies left for me, Buck's got eight, so down to the wire. Hole 18 here. Let's see if I cannot do another bad two-stroke swing. <laughs> All right, hole 18, 152. It's a little bit trickier than the other small ones. It's not just out in the open. There is sort of like a line of trees going like this in the middle of the fairway. Um, yeah, and it's just like past those line of trees. So going with the razor claw again. Just gonna try and get it close. Hold it. There's no OB, so that's safe. Just deep. Great. All right, only have the Enoch and Peach left. Gonna go Enoch, uh, backhand spike, I guess. Oh wait, I only have one option actually. Ha, <laughs> a peach. Shout out Peachy Disc Golf up in uh, Georgia, I believe. <laughs> oh, is oh. that in? Ooh, it's deep. That's a good run. If he makes, I'm down to one bit. If he makes an I miss, then he wins. Hmm. This is not his round. That's that such a good. bummer too. If I had made it, that'd be it. Yeah. 
Down to one disc. Okay, one life left for me. All right, I will show you a bit of mercy and <gasps> take the Enoch, mercy. leave you the peach. Oh, yes. All right, we're back in hole one. I'm gonna go with the one that uh, helped me out last time with the friendly tree kick, the Malta. I can do a miracle comeback. Peach and peach alone is all I have. Tailwinds. Oh, hey. Okay. That's like 50 deep. That's Buck's lie. There's the basket. I'm giving him a 20% chance to make it. If he makes it, it's more than likely over. He's closer yeah. than I am. Over meaning playoff. Look at all that back sweat. Oh. Park though. Alright, basket's there on the left side. He's way right. He does have to get up and down, so there's a little this bit of a possibility. This is the up and over putt. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. Alright, two shots. That is a stroke penalty means I win. Stay alive, stay alive. Uh, we forgot to flip last hole. Heads is regular, tails is double or nothing. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know, it's just whatever it lands on. Oh, oh, yeah. For what? Like, if heads like that, yeah, is like power playing, tails okay. would be birdie and you get two discs. Oh, I see. Bogey, I, I lose. Got it, got it. So it, it's heads, regular. All right. It's been old faithful. I've thrown it in like eight shots now. So, razor claw, high forehand hyzer, back to hole two. I, law, I, I bogeyed this one last time, so let's make up some ground, right? better still a little short all right well i've got to get creative now because i just have one disc turnover with the peach could be really good or really bad hopefully it's the former that's that's a little lucky and then kind of a expected a little roll. unlucky after yeah. that bad roll all right he's right there basket's right there Ooh, he choked, he went for it. That's not a gimme. All right, he's gotta make this to put me away and go to a playoff. Right. I'm still one up in the best of three. This is to tie one one. Park there. Alright, bogey, 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 bogey. <sighs> That's it. As long as I make this a uh, par putt. <clears throat> or, did it roll? Well, this is still missable. We could switch discs. Oh, okay, wow. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this second video um, for the best of three. Now we're gonna be playing a different course to finish out um, the battle. So I won the first one and Buck took the second one and um, all the marbles on the table for the last one. So stay tuned, probably tomorrow is when I put the video out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below who you think's got the edge going into the final round. Keep in mind, it is very hot out here, um, so fatigue is definitely a factor, but comment below, do you think it can be the good old faithful disrespect or will the guests win on the channel? <laughs> See you guys next time.